my Crystalias, and welcome to another episode of Discourse. When we last thought, when we where we last left off was day three. Let's see what we got going on on this day. One more night down. I'm gonna need to stretch my legs and move around. Your right. Should would be nice to take a walk. I'm starting to get pretty hungry. We're gonna go days without food. Just stay strong, baby. Can we focus here? We have to figure out what we're doing today. We've got these flares from the wreckage. I'm sure they'll be useful somehow. But we still have no source of fresh water. Yeah, that's bad. Really bad. I'll help Garrett get water. I'll build a signal with Teddy. I'm gonna go ahead and build a signal. I'll come with you, Teddy. We can make a signal. Finally, someone demonstrates a modicum of intelligence. This doesn't help the fact that we have no drinking water. Garrett, y'all come with George and me. We need to find that water. Oh, I, uh, if you say so. I'll keep an eye on the camp. I could use some rest anyway. That covers it then. Uh, excuse me, I'm yawning. Alright, everybody, let's get a move on. Alright, let's see what the heck we're gonna have to face today. I mean, how much trouble can I get myself into by making him signal, really? I mean, I'm kind of worried that Garrett's gonna die because he's already injured and he's gonna be in the jungle doing who knows what. How is anyone ever going to find us out here? I mean, we could just try yelling really loud. I really don't think that's going to work, Rita. No, I was being... Never mind. Stop goofing around. We need to find a way to connect with the outside world. What if we write something in the sand? Maybe we can get the attention of boats and planes. If we use driftwood to make a signal, it won't wash away as quickly with the tide. Should I go looking for driftwood? Yeah, you go search for wood and debris. I'll start cleaning up this area for us to write on. Alright, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, what's this? Kind of sad to think about everyone who was lost in the crash. I wonder how many people were on the plane. Yeah, that is actually pretty sad. We're only like, what, five people, six people? I can't run, so this is the extent of my moving abilities. In the movies, trees like these would be full of coconuts or bananas or something. Turns out real life is much less forgiving. Who would have thought? Hmm, that does suck. Yeah, you have fun touching the ground there, Teddy. Okay, so I got this piece. Oh, okay, I gotta move this over here. Just drop any drifter you find over here by me. Got it. Okay, so, excuse me. I wonder if this will affect our rating. <laughs> rating? They're probably rating us on everything we do. I'm sure we're doing great, Teddy. <laughs> what do you think they're testing you on? Honestly, Teddy, I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, what did you do before the incident? I was a barista at a coffee. No, I know your cover story. What did you really do? Whatever, Teddy. Okay. So he's obviously the conspiracy guy, and he's always thinking I'm doing something secret or something. Hey, there's a nest right there. Cool. Good job, Sand. Thank you, Sand, for... Oh, is this a backpack? Huh, there's an empty bottle of SPF 90 sunscreen in here. Looks like everything else has fallen out. There's nothing useful left. What's this? Looks like something fell out of this backpack. What's that? It's an envelope. This is weird. It has Jolene's name on it. Whoa, top secret evidence! This is none of our business. Let's open it. Um, I don't know. She's alive and part of our group, so I'm gonna not open this. We should give this back to Jolene. What? She could be some sort of secret spy agent person. As convincing as that argument sounds, we're kind of stuck on this island with everyone. We may as well try to get along with them. Okay, fine. I don't like it, though. Yeah, anyway, let's get this SOS finished. Right, back to work. That's weird. The heck kind of document could that be? Okay. Ah, landmine! Wait, no, that's more sand. <laughs> yeah, good job, Teddy. I really trust you. Still kind of feel bad about screwing up your legs, though, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play along. What is that? Is that a broken frisbee on the left there? Let me just put this over here and figure it out. What did you do, Teddy? I used to work for the government in their intelligence building. Confidential information was right under my nose every day. That sounds like you. So you think they're after you? Um, that sounds like you. <laughs> Sounds like something you would do. Did you enjoy working for them? I didn't get a job with them because I wanted to work for them. Why did you then? 
The sand has ears, Rita. Let's just say it was a good place to get information that I needed. <coughs> Alright, well, let's finish this SOS. There we go. He's got three watches. Synced to what times and what planets? I don't understand what that guy's going through. Alright, let's check out this. Hey there, little guy. What have you got there, Rita? It's a disc. Must have fallen out of the plane all alone and scared. <laughs> That's the face of somebody who's been through some serious stuff. Maybe we should keep him. That way we can take care of each other. We could call him, uh, Disc. Disky. Disky? That's the best you can come up with? I don't see a name on him. We've got some... We've got to come up with something. Whatever, I've got nothing. Let's finish up this SOS. So that's obviously like a little face and a bit of a Wilson, uh, <laughs> um, what's it called, reference from Castaway. And I like it. It's pretty hilariosity. So there's the other part of the S there. Looks backwards, unless the other part of it's going to be down there, which most likely will. Okay, so, right, what do we got here? Man, if I had my phone on me, I'd totally Instagram a picture of this peach. <laughs> I said peach. Hey, fish pee in there, watch out! I bet there's a ton of lost cargo from the plane out here. Too bad it's mostly all waterlogged and ruined. Yeah, but dude, open it up and check it out. This could be, there could be like a knife. A knife can't be waterlogged. Can it? I mean, what's the worst thing water could do to a knife? Maybe make it rusty or something? You could still use a knife for things. Great, that should do it. We really shouldn't have waited until the third day to do this. I really don't think that it's that big of a deal. A plane could have flown over while we were sleeping and not even noticed us. Or a ship. For all we know, this island is near a major shipping route. Speaking of which, what's that light out there? Oh, no way. What? Oh, I see it too. It doesn't look like it's moving. It must be an oil platform or something. It's really far away. It's too far to tell anything from here. Maybe it's an alien ship! Teddy, I don't think so. Oh, whoa. Cool. Ah, uh, suddenly now it's raining. Think that's a coincidence? I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> whoa. Yikes! It's a kind of a violent thundering. That sounded really close by. I wonder if it struck anything. We're being tested! We have to reconvene with the other subjects. The government has obviously set up a weather machine. No doubt that was a government lightning. I think that was just normal lightning, Teddy. Let's hurry up and get to camp before we're soaked. On the way, I wanted to explore. I really did want to walk around some more just to see what's up. Okay, at least Garrett is alive. Hey, guys. We were able to find water. Yay! Here, everybody, you should take a drink. But it's raining. You could just open your mouths right now. Yo, finish up the bottles, leave them out, and see if we can collect some rainwater. Yo, that's awesome. Everyone gets water. Now I get a little optimistic. Oh, I almost forgot. I saw something on the mountain in the distance. I think it might have been man-made. Very intriguing. We may need to study this further. So, Rita, what did you and Teddy find? We have successfully created a, a save our souls signal upon the beach. Is that what it SOS means? No way. I mean, I knew it stood for something, but I, I didn't know it was save our souls. Were you able to spell it correctly? What are you saying, Steve? That I am unable to spell SOS? Okay, we don't need to fight about it. Alright, what have you got to say then, Rita? Oh, um, well, we found this little guy. He's like a little Pac-Man. He was all alone, so we brought him with us. Oh my gosh, let's name him Disky. <laughs> I told you that name was an original Teddy. Aw, oh, but look at him, he likes it. Alright, Disky it is. Great, we're going crazy. <laughs> this is why you don't have Fred, Steve. Oh, right, my bad. I forgot to make them up. <laughs> okay, that's enough. There's no reason to argue about this. I think Disky will be good for us. You guys find something, uh, find anything of value while you were out there? Oh, I almost forgot. We saw a light in the distance off the shore. It was far, it was too far to swim, but we could build something to get out there. Whoa, really? Well, that is good news then. One more thing, Jolene. I found this envelope on the beach. It has your name on it. Oh my, well, let's just get rid of that, why don't we? Uh, really? What? You can't do this to us! I promise it's of no concern to you, Teddy. I knew you were an agent. I knew somebody was behind this whole thing. I'm not an agent, Teddy. I just want to get off this island like the rest of us. 
I know we're going to get off. I know we're going to get off this island. Soon we'll be back to our sweet country ranch, and all will be well again. Maybe we should continue this over by the tents, where we can keep dry. Right. I'll grab a torch. Yo, she just, she just burned up that envelope. Like, why the heck did she do that? That's really weird. The suitcase will keep her pretzels nice and dry. Can I talk to anyone right now? I guess that would defeat the purpose of the next uh, gameplay section. Where I get to talk to peeps. <clears throat> Alright guys. I'm definitely I'm definitely talking to Jolene. Whoa. The rain is quickly getting worse. It's really cold. Well, this shelter is keeping us pretty dry right now. It's a lot colder out in the rain. We'll make it through the night. We can find something better after the storm tomorrow. Whoa, this is really cool. I love rain so much, you guys. Why do... Why do that when we can leave? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Where would we even go? Inland, we could find better shelter. Maybe there's somewhere that the water won't get in. We could get lost in the storm and never find our way back. We could also get hyperthermia and die. I think it's a better idea to wait until morning. Then we can look for better shelter. Do I, am I making a decision right now? Rita, you're being pretty quiet. Don't tell me you're on their side. Oh, jeez. Let's find better shelter. We should stay here. What does everyone think? I mean, they kind of spoke up. <sighs> I mean, why do they give me the decision? I, I'm not like the voted leader of the pack or anything. <clears throat> I want to ask, what does everyone think? What does everyone else think about this? I think my George is right. Rita, we don't even know what's out there. Why risk it? I think it's a really bad idea to leave. You guys are ridiculous. Doesn't matter what we do. Well, I'll be dead soon anyway. Thanks, Steve. I really appreciate you. You're a very valuable part of this team. Uh, I mean, we just built the SOS signal. And that should... We should probably be near the shore if a boat finds it. You know, I'm gonna stay here, man. I'm gonna say, let's stay here. We found water source, right? I think. It's too soon to abandon this site. Let's tough it out here for the night. What? No! Give it up, Teddy. We're staying. I don't know if this is gonna go well or not, but let's see what's up. Ugh. My side of the net is all soggy. If we're, if we're not going to do my idea, somebody should switch spots with me. Quit whining. It's just as damp in my spot, and you don't hear me complaining about it. None of our sprites are exactly prime real estate, Teddy. Just suck it up and take what you got. Why don't you switch with me? Switch with you, uh, then, George. George, just switch with him. Go to sleep. Uh, just go to sleep. Stop arguing. Just sleep in your own spots. Yeah, Teddy, just go to sleep. I'm kind of like alienating Teddy a lot from this. Oh, I don't get to talk. Okay. I, I was I wanted to ask Jolene about that document. Well, good night, everybody. Man, this is rough stuff. Oh, jeez, what's gonna happen now? What's going on? Oh no! Whoa, guys! Hey, guys! Why is Steve still smoking? Everyone, wake up! What are you going on about? Whoa, goodness, floodwaters! Oh, jeez. I guess I should have known something like this would happen. Looks to be a storm surge coming in. We best get ourselves out of here. Oh, jeez, Teddy! Whoa, bad luck actually struck someone else, somebody else for once. Shut up, Steve. Just help. Yeah, everyone's like looking at him. Are you alright, Teddy? I think I'm fine, but I can't seem to move. It's too dark, I can't see what's going on. Rita, get us a new torch from the fire so we can shed some light on the situation. I'm on it. Alright, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Screw it, I have to end the episode, I'm sorry. This is really awesome, but thank you so much guys for watching. My name is Crystal Face, and I'll see you in the next episode.